Hello, balloon friends. Um, I'm Buddy from the balloon base of Amscan and Everts. And um, this is our latest balloon design for Valentine's, like a last minute design as Valentine's just around the corner. Just follow me how to do this in the following minutes. The main thing we are using is the air loons. In the beginning, we just used the, um, the long one, the laugh design. I think you all know how to blow up the, the air loons. The air doesn't need any helium. It's only um, air inflated. So we, I'm using the uh, Premium Foil Pro. You've seen I, I pushed the, I pressed the, the, the big balloon just to make the air going inside uh, the smaller balloons. Makes it a little bit easier, otherwise it takes ages. And now instead of using the, the elastic, um, which is in the, in the package as well, we use um, 260s to attach this to my base, which I will show you um, in a minute. Just rolling these attaches into the 260. Make sure it's not too tight, otherwise it could come off. Squeeze the air out of the 260 and then roll up the neck with the 260 of this attachment point. And now this is going to be the base now for the, um, for the air loons. This is simply an alternate sized garland. The um, Satin Lux gold balloons are inflated to about nine inches and the pink and the flamingo ones are inflated to about seven inch. In our design, we are using um, five inch and 11 inch balloons, pearl frosty white. Satin Lux Gold Satin. We're using Pearl Pretty Pink. And also we use Satin Lux Flamingo. Now, we, instead of using the, the base of the heirlooms, we use this as our base in this design. And just simply attach our ribbons for the 260s to the fishing line which I used to make this garland. Inside the, the garland is the fishing line and we attach this 260 uh, directly to the, to the fishing line in between the 11 inch and the 5 inch balloons. Just make a simply knot or two so it's not it cannot undo. We continue with some foil balloons using the same method how as we attached the love balloon to the to the base. We do this with the 11 inch Happy Valentine's Day. Just another roll up the neck with a 260. Tie it. And then slide it into the design, just like this. We don't want it straight, we want it a little bit um, to the side because this little corresponding um, nine inch microfoil wants to go in here with a piece of balloon bond. I tied, I tied the neck uh, to the back. So this looks nicer Just to make this go kind of nicely in here. This is the first step to make this a little bit more more elegant here in front and cover 
all the mechanics here, we can use uh, the five inch balloons in the same colors um, in a kind of organic way. I prepared um, a couple of pieces, um, like three or four or five, attached um, with, again with the 260, and now we slide them into, into this um, design. Just grab it around and leave it. Leave it here. Leave this to the back. Here I can show you again the the way we do these together. Same method as before. Tie this end to the other end. And I'll leave this here. Maybe I can use it with, for another balloon later on. Okay, all the final details we'll make in the end. This is how we want it, yes. This goes back again, like so. Just uh, for showing you how we continue now, I will take the design down and uh, work on the bottom. We need a special attachment now here using using the, the body um, and this we need to cover here or to make this uh, round here to have an attachment point which we will cover later on the design just covering the whole knot and what we want to do now is take in the uh, type of garland, an organic garland from the here to this point and then moving on in, in the design from here to the, to the middle of, of uh, the, the love ladder or the love uh, balloon here, which is about the, the length of, uh, that we need from, from here to there. This is simply organic garland made on a 260. They are um, clusters of three, four and five just as it comes randomly. And we can attach this with a, with a 260 again, which is the, the leftover from, from the uh, inside. And if we need, or we need another one on the other side, um, which we attach. Just simply here, make a knot, or make sure this doesn't uncome. And then we can just wrap this around here for the beginning. Just try to make it nice and tight. Put this up again to show you how we attach this to the, to the base. Not a problem if this is not, um, if this is just a little bit too long, we can just move up here a little bit more later on. Okay, if this is, we'll see. Now we need, um, we need a, a pair, uh, some five inch balloons here to cover this. Um, to, to cover this piece of uh, 260, I made a couple of um, pairs and triplets. We just slide them through. Also use the 260 to attach this to the others, just look, make it look organic. We might need a pair more here. I will do this later on. And now, to make this design a little bit um, more special, um, I used um, this decorator kit from, from Amscan, 
uh, which is basically for just married. But in this case, I want to use these um, pieces here out of this uh, decorating kit. Maybe you have this already in your portfolio for, for the, the upcoming season of uh, weddings or leftovers from maybe from Christmas or something you can use in this design, um, which fits with the colors. Easy to, to, to assemble. There is a glue and then you just push them together here and then they, they stick together. And what I did is I opened up this hole with a, um, with a puncher, I think it's called, uh, or the perforator, and make the hole bigger to attach uh, the 260 again. And I also cut this a little bit shorter and trim off the, the edges to make this uh, more round. And then you, I punched, uh, I made a hole into this part to attach the 260. This you can see here and also here. Um, and this will be my, my attachments. It just makes it easier to get the 260 through the through the hole. This off. Here we go. Just put and put in here. Slightly wrapping the 260 around and this is I want to put here. We can trim off the axes at the end and one more goes into the design here like this. If we need, we might need another couple of balloons here. I'm going to make these quickly. More of these. Make them different sizes, just a little bit organic-like. This is just like so, three different sizes as it comes. And then use and attach it to the 260 here. Example like that. And we want this. Now we have to trim off the last bits and pieces of the 260s. And of course, you can make um, some more details down here, but I think it's um, a nice um, design with different things um, we attach to the basic of the, um, of the heirlooms. All right, um, folks, so this is um, our design. I hope you like it, um, hope you can do this and hope you can sell this. Um, happy Valentine's for all of you and your loved ones. Okay, guys. If you missed one thing in the design, maybe a red heart, here it is. As the cherry on the cake. <laughs> okay, one more time. <laughs>